right, welcome back to DXB today. I hope you're enjoying the show thus far. It's not so much a case of we know what you did last summer. It's more a case of what on earth you're doing this summer. Uh, and that's why we are trying to well, give you probably a couple of a bit of advice, if you like, give you a few ideas of things to do during the summer to benefit yourself and your family. To that end, let's meet now a founder. A founder helping professionals excel in their fields by delivering high quality training solutions that drive growth and of course success. Please welcome to the show, Mariam Shabib from the Pomegranate Institute. Mariam, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for having me. I'm excited to be here and to meet all of you. Well, we're excited and to have you here um, you. to guide us on this on your way. Looking extraordinary. Uh, you, you, you're wearing what you talk as well on your feet. There's more this, this afternoon. We walk the talk. Yeah, Walking we walk the talk. The talk. That's, that's, what, it's that's what it's all about. about. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Boss lady on the shoes. Loving that. Um, let's start with the name, shall we? Why pomegranate? Yes, yeah. So the story of pomegranate Institute started in 2015, in September to be precise. Uh, during my eat break, I decided to do something different, which is visiting a refugee camp in Idomeni in Greece. Um, at, the, at that border crossing, we were doing um, any kind of supportive humanitarian aid work. And um, a very precious gift that I got from the mayor of the city, or the village to be precise, was a pomegranate. And I found that gift as humble and as precious as it was rather surprising. Um, and then she explained to me um, what the meaning of the pomegranate stands for it would be new beginnings, uh, seeds of opportunities. And she said, as many seeds as you have inside a pomegranate are the opportunities that come with life. Uh, shortly after heading back from Greece uh, and upon reflecting on everything um, that we have witnessed and seen, which was the um, fortunate and unfortunate uh, events, I started reflecting on something that I can do to add my bit to bringing an educational revolution to um, Dubai, which is more linked to having practical uh, soft skill trainings, language support, literally for anyone and everyone. So we go from uh, children as young as four onto teenagers looking for uh, career advice and I know we can see we have a very brilliant person sitting right here, <laughs> super inspirational. Um, then it goes from um, working with corporate clients as well, where we customize any kind of trainings. Um, then of course it goes from women empowerment projects, we don't really call them women empowerment projects as much as womanity projects. And from there, we look into seasonal support programs that we can do across the country. There's always something happening here. I was very interested when you said language. Yes. Uh, so yes. which languages do you, do you really gear towards and foster? Is it, is it an array or is there a specific? Uh, Thank you for the question. So we do uh, mainly 36 living languages and we teach these languages from whatever shape, angle and form you would need it for. So if it is uh, linked to conversational language skills, we teach these. If it's linked to fashion Italian or real estate Russian, or we can go into business English. Uh, we also do sign languages, which are particularly exciting, um, as it's not just a language for the hearing or non-hearing community, but something that you can start with children at a tender, tender age where the, the regular language hasn't kicked in yet. So it's a very, very beautiful uh, way of communicating with people. How many languages do you speak? I do five languages, Oof. but learning, learning more. <laughs> and this Oof. is what, what the Institute is all about, that we never rest, we never stop, and we keep going in the same speed of the city, I believe. This it's is where Nashna tells us she speaks seven languages or some of that. I, I actually yeah. don't. Um, I did have a goal for this year to learn French. That's why I wanted to ask, because my French oral exam is next week. So just any last minute prep Perfect I can Perfect timing. Get <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. Perfect. Um, what is, for any skills, or maybe specifically to language, yes. what is your favorite method, one that sticks the most on learning a language or a skill the best? That's beautiful. Um, it goes from simple things like finding talking partners, which could be native and non-native speakers that are as keen and eager as you are to learn the language. Then of course, the traditional and contemporary uh, uh, combination that we get is things like Netflix, where you have subtitles running, try to watch movies in the original language. So in this case would be French. Yes. Music, music makes the world go round. So try to listen to as many French songs 
this very, very modern music and the traditional ones. We will not sing them right now, but I think we, we know what we're getting at. No, I, I was going to say Edith Piaf. I love La Vie en Rose. Here we go. It's beautiful. So that's it. So I think it's, it's literally from start speaking away. That's the most important thing. Have no barriers, no limits, no, no fear. Of course, um, since we just touched upon exchange programs, um, it's also important that you're able to connect with the community here in the UAE that speaks French. And there's a huge array of Francophone uh, speakers as well as if you get the opportunity to travel to France, um, then of course on an exchange program, or if you're able to do that just on a pure visit and take a crash course with us, if you want that, we offer different kinds of uh, learning experiences. So it can go from a crash course, a regular language course, which is divided into the typical levels, um, or we can customize something to your liking. I think I'm definitely going to go for the Netflix and chill thing and say to my mom, oh no, I'm studying for my exams. <laughs> <laughs> well, staying on the subject of students and people like uh, going through exams right now, I have several sisters and cousins are, that are right now in universities. So do you have any support for um, stu students in universities to do internship programs maybe in the Institute? Definitely. So first of all, we welcome um, all kinds of students at Taika to explore what it is that we're doing since we work with the private sector, we work with the government sector, we work with uh, schools, nurseries, so literally all across the line. So anyone eager to join us on an internship basis, be our guest. And that's Pomtastic, that's the word Pomtastic. we use. Pomtastic. Pomtastic, oh, exactly. Yes. Um, and on another note, we're also happy to connect students with our corporate clients. Since we do trainings with them, uh, we try never to be a hit and run show. So we do, do stay in touch with companies and do on-set workshops and um, training sessions from there onward. So it's really cool for us to find a way to connect the students with the corporate clients as well, um, who are always eager and excited to have uh, fresh blood infused into their companies with new ideas and, and contemporary thinking as well. Love it. Yeah. Miriam, this has been fascinating. Thank you so much for being here. This Thank you for really, having me. This is really, really good. I've been trying to work out your accent as well and how many, you said you speak five languages. So I've been trying to work them out. So let's see if I'm right here. Uh, French, German, Italian, um, I would say. English. English, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. Arabic. Yeah. And I do Urdu as well. Oh. oh. Yes. And I took also crush course in sign languages. Yeah. Or, in uh, American Sign Language. An emoji? Do you speak emoji? <laughs> emoji, that's oh, the right, language yeah, of right, the right. century. We need that as well. <laughs> and a very, very important thing is that uh, language is not only um, what we speak and the body language, of course, that comes with it. Um, We're trying to speak the contemporary language of what Dubai needs. So we also go into IT trainings. Uh, we also do certifications such as uh, project management certifications yeah. and anything uh, what is needed. So our simple slogan that kind of wraps everything up, I, le I believe, is you name it, we train it. Brilliant. And that's um, what we're hoping to do, to continue doing, and we're aiming to do until Dubai keeps embracing us. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Uh, good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miriam. Um, and I hope to gain you as students as yes, well. Yes, definitely. Very, very soon. Yes, indeed. Thank it's you so beautiful. much. The boss lady. Wonderful. Thank you so Pleasure. much. Thank um, you. I think it's about that time where we put our guest co-host under the spotlight. Thanks, Lane. So let's start the clock. If you weren't a content creator or a TV presenter, what would you be? I don't know, um, a singer. <laughs> Your motto in life and in work? Um, think positive, talk positive, act positive. Yes. Your favorite summer activity in Dubai? Uh, water parks. A superpower you wish you had? Um, knowing any language in the world. Your go-to place in Dubai? Oh, <laughs> this is so hard. Um, Mall of the Emirates. Oh, nice. Uh, understated soft skill you recommend to students? Uh, communication, is that one? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Most used app on your phone? <laughs> oh no, Instagram, this has got to yeah. be. <laughs> if, if, you, if you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Um, I would say my grandfather. A, a podcast recommendation? Oh, my own. Triple XRS, XXXRS, now available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Uh, why Dubai? 
because it's amazing. It's for everyone, any age, every age, and it is just a hub where you can find so many different opportunities. And I, for one, have been very grateful to have opportunities from a very young age. So that's why Dubai. And you did amazing. That was the last question. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Just, amazing. isn't she just amazing, eh? Hey? Yeah. so good at this, huh? Thank you. I don't know why we've been here. I know. You did it on the entire show on your own, that's for sure. Uh, Ashna, all the best for the exams. Um, thanks so much indeed for coming in, uh, for breaking away from the uh, the revision uh, to join us. So, no, literally all the best for that. Thanks for guest co hosting as well. Thank Marion, thanks so much indeed for Thank your Thank you so much. Well. Thanks for, uh, and see you guys soon, hopefully. Oh, we will be we will be <laughs> down on the course sometime soon. Uh, in fact, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we are going to stick around for a little bit longer because we've got a rather special performance to play us out. Stay with us.